in crunch, which means we're working super hard to finish the game. We're just putting all the bells and whistles on uh, to give the players the best experience possible. Uh, our two main characters are uh, Zoe Castillo and, and uh, Kian Alabama, and they're recurring characters from, uh, from Dreamfall. Um, we pretty much picked them up exactly where we left them off. Uh, Zoe is in a coma um, and uh, Kian is in prison. We are wrapping up the story from Dreamfall, but book one kicks off a whole new story where you follow these two characters and how their stories intertwine. Uh, we're going to do uh, a lot of TV shows that do already, uh, like the TV show Lost, where you, uh, in the beginning, everybody's lost. You know that the plane fell down and they're all on the beach, but you don't know anything about the characters or what happened. And then in the, and then in the, in the episodes that follow, they reveal a little bit uh, about each character, a little bit more about the backstory, uh, while at the same time pushing the narrative forward. The first episode uh, is called Reborn for a Reason, because our two main characters are reborn. Uh, Zoe wakes up from a coma and uh, Kian escapes from prison and we follow their stories from there. Dreamfall Chapters, book one, is definitely Dreamfall Reborn. This will appeal to people who have played the previous games, but certainly for the new players as well. This is a whole new story. It's uh, great for new uh, players to uh, jump into the story and follow their lives from, uh, from their rebirth. My favorite mechanic in Dreamfall Chapters is that we manage to make sure that the choices you do in the game actually matters. Every single choice you do will be remembered and they will have consequences. You might not see them immediately. Some of them you will see the consequences very quickly after you make your choice, uh, but some of the choices uh, you will only see the consequence way down the line, maybe in book two, book three, book four, uh, later down the line. Uh, there are two worlds uh, in, in Dreamfall uh, chapters. We have a Stark, which is uh, basically our world uh, 200 years into the future, the world of, uh, of technology and, uh, and order. And we have um, the parallel world of Arcadia, which is the world of magic and of uh, chaos. It's a meeting between, uh, let's say, Blade Runner and uh, Game of Thrones. We have some amazing locations in Dreamfall chapters, and there are tons of these tiny stories that just wants to be told. And it's really important for us to reward curiosity. If you go somewhere, there should be some story to be told. I'm super excited about how we are merging narrative and puzzle mechanics. I feel that the puzzles are just complementing the narrative, and it never feels like it gets in the way. You're, you're solving problems while progressing the story. I think again with the, uh, our narrative, our, our way of, of doing an interactive narrative with the choices and consequence mechanics that we have, uh, how they see the story unfold uh, as they make their choices and, and, and see those consequences later down the line, I'm, I'm pretty sure people will be excited about that. I feel great about the game. Uh, we're progressing uh, really quickly. Uh, we're in the final stages of, uh, of preparing for launch, basically. Uh, we're putting the bells and whistles on, everything works. We're super excited to launch this game now. Launch is 21st of October. Be there. October 21st. October 21st. October 21st. October 21st. Well, I would guess October 21st, but you know, what do I know? I'm, I'm just down here. 21st of October. 21st of October. 21st of October. 21st of October. <laughs>